Welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. This is part six, and today we are going to end off area two by catching my favorite boss in the whole game, Bogmire. But before we do that, we have to go to the boneyard, which has a dog mm. ghost. It's a, it's a pretty fun. Now the boneyard has. Oh, I passed it. Hello, bowling ghost. I actually passed the room. I gotta go back. So the boneyard actually has. Um, a dog ghost named Spooky, or is Spooky or Spookily? I forgot. I think it's Spooky. But yeah. I already have water. We're gonna need some water for this. So you go out. There's his dog house. And you can see him in there. Let's take a look at his heart, actually. I don't think I have before. I bet it's just barking. Yeah, it's just <laughs> woof, woof, woof. So you see there's a little, there's a little seed right there. You spray it with water and it grows into a little sapling yeah and you have to come back here over the course of the game and keep spraying it and once and eventually it'll give you a lot of money so we're gonna do that so I think we have to spray him with water you have to wake him up and then he'll get really mad so he's gonna start chasing us and then eventually a ghost is gonna come out named Mr. Bones and Mr. Bones is gonna get really mad because he, he doesn't like loud noise. Hello, Mr. Bones? Oh, yeah, there he is. For the love of dirt, make that yappy dog be quiet. Oh, no, Spooky's gonna get me. All right. And once Mr. Bones is caught, one of his ghost bones falls down, and Spooky, Spooky starts to eat it. And now his heart's exposed, so we can catch him. And, of course, he only has 100 health. So... It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I got it down pretty low, but we're going to have to go again. Wait, what? Okay. There he goes. And this is the end of the ghost dog spooky. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We should be looking at these things. The dancing couple, the floating world windows. They are years old. They were once the local waltz champions, but they can no longer compete since their feet don't touch the floor. Well, well, that sucks. Shivers, the wandering butler. He's 72 years old, but he doesn't have gray or white hair. That's that's pretty impressive, actually. Unless he's just using hair dye. I don't know. He wanders the house endlessly, searching for his master's will. He hopes to be included in it. Makes me wonder, is his master Neville? Or is his master King Boo? Because King Boo's arms are too tiny, he can't write a will. Neville has no time to make a will because he's too busy reading, so. The beautiful pianist, Melody Panissima. She is 26 years old. Despite playing moving melodies, she has a surly disposition. Oddly enough, she loves video games. I mean, I do too. I'm playing one right now. The glutton, Mr. Lugs. He is 30 years old and he prefers all-you-can-eat buffets to three meals a day. He ate himself to death, but he still wasn't satisfied. And Spooky, the hungry guard dog. He is four, which in dog years would make him, like, what, 28? This creepy canine will sink its chops into any seemingly edible thing in sight. Which, I guess, in this case, is Luigi. So if you look over here, you see little sparkles. And we have to do what we did before in the butler's room. You have to interact with it. And it pulls you in. And now we're in the graveyard. And... There's going to be some more Mr. Bones in here, I think. Oh, I should get that heart before the boss fight. Because this is where Bogmire is. There's Mr. Bones. Oh, I almost got three at once. Oh, oh actually, they have 30 health. Oh, come on. Oh. Alright, that should be the last of them. And something interesting is happening to the gravestone up there. It's Bogmire! And 
now we're in another arena. Whenever you're in an arena like this, with that, with that weird purple looking sky, that means it's an area boss, and you're about to finish the area. Yes, so Bogmire, he makes copies of himself that are black, so you know it's the real deal when it's purple. So what we have to do is we have to suck up the black ones, and it'll give you a, like a little Bogmire ball, and you have to shoot it at him. Oh, I missed. Okay. There we go. And let's get him. Oh, yeah. He is very strong. That's what I love about this boss fight. It can get so hectic. And... It can get so hectic. But it's also so cool. Oh, my gosh. I got barely nothing on that. I got, like, nothing on that try. Alright, he's over here, I think. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh Yeah, also they do a lot of damage. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh-oh, they do 10 damage. That's, that's kind of a lot. Uh oh, uh oh. They do 20 damage. The big ones do 20. Oh no, I think I actually might die. This is not good. Alright, I'm at half health and he's got not that much health left. Oh, come on, come on! I can do it, I can do it! Oh! It was so close. Alright. Looks like it's the end for our friend Bogmire. I love this boss fight so much. And it's a gold chest. The gold chests always have area keys, and it's the club key, or the clover key, whatever you want to call it. It leads to the courtyard. <laughs> Luigi. This always happens. Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you. Okay. I thought I lost your signal. Okay, yeah, I was just saying the same thing. That was some battle you had there. Why don't you come back to the lab? What? You think the lightning damaged the Portagust? Don't worry about it. Even if that lightning had cooked your goose, your Portagust wouldn't have had a scratch. <laughs> Alright, back to the lab we go. Time to put the ghost into the ghost portrificationizer. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you've got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say we put them through the old ghost portrificationizer? All right, so here we have Bogmire, the floating world windows, Shivers the butler, Melody Panissima, I think there's one more, Mr. Lugs, oh, and we can't forget about Spooky the Dog. Hmm. Well, we managed to get those ghosts back in the paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. And that's the end of Area 2. So we caught Mr. Lugs, the Floating World Windows, Mia. Okay, yeah, we already we know this. Nine ghosts. Okay, well, this is this is only this is only uh six of them. But you know, nine in all because six for this one and then three from the past area. So that's a lot of coins. That's a lot of coins. Oh, and the gems. The gems count for so much. Two million. Wow. The crystal's 2 million, and that's a lot of pearls, and total up with the money from our last area, 19 million. Well, I guess if we round up, it's 20 million. So about 20 million gold, or 20 million Mario coins, basically. That's a lot. And we got 15 boosts. So in the next episode, we will explore the courtyard, since we are now in area 3. And we will catch many portrait ghosts, 
and maybe, maybe find some of Mario's hidden items so we can get more information from Madame Clairvoya about where Mario is. I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play. I know I am very much, and I hope you're looking forward to the next episode.